Hey everyone! Right, this today's is just a fun little project. It's something I've seen around. Um, I can't, I, I actually saw this on Pinterest, but for the life of me, I cannot find the pin that I saw it on, that I made notes on. I've got three lollipop sticks, albeit these are the jumbo ones. Um, they're what I use for stirring my paint actually when I'm doing my paint pouring stuff so I suppose they could be like bookmarks or um, page marks so what I'm going to do is stamp on them but I don't think that's going to be big enough um, ah that one will do it right so I'm just going to plonk it on there now for the, this is going to be the back, so I've got, uh, this one's watering can, archival link, so it should be reasonably waterproof. I'm just going to make sure I've got this well stamped, well inked, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's a long day. Okay. Right, let's see how we get on. So I'm just thinking I'm going to I'm gonna cover the top part. So let's just go for that, shall we? Oh actually that works really well. I'm quite impressed with that. Right, so that's the back. Sorry, my light is glaring slightly, but it's it's gone really dark outside. Okay. Now I'm going to flick them over, I'm not going to use that one now, ah the escapee dog, let's put those back on there, okay I have got, the plan is to stamp perhaps colour and then embellishment with a butterfly on top, that's what I'm thinking. So I have that set of stamps. Those came off Amazon via China, I think. I have those ones. These ones are Dinah Reevely Wakely. They came with um, I bought a whole a whole set of them and some more Inka Dinka Do ones. These are ones I'd normally use. I like those ones. So I'm thinking, I quite like that one, although the butterfly one, I suppose, might come in useful. So let's see how we get on. I think I'll use teal blue. Where are we going? Oh, I'm liking that. Um. Sorry, I just need to get some of this to clean my stuff up with after. Actually, that looks quite nice on its own. I don't know if that needs anything else. What have we got on that side? Maybe. Oh, I can't get it off. I don't think I've ever used this one. A little bird and I think we'll do him in black. Let's 
Sorry, I'm going to have to move this down a touch so I can actually see what I'm doing. Right, let's try and sit him on. There. Yep, that works. I think that's probably all that needs. I mean, first, that you just love the quick and easy ones. I'm going to do this. Um, let's go for that one. Because I think that could look quite nice going up there. Cover me inks up before they go dry. I've got a uh, saddle brown for this one. You could use any inks for these because I'm not actually going to be putting anything wet over the top, so distress inks or any colour you like. Okay, where's this one going? I want to try and keep the top in it. So, there. Yeah, that works. Although that needs something else on it now. <clears throat> Let's get the basics in and then we'll... There then. I wonder if that would go. Let's try it. Let's go with... I'm working my way through means. Cornflower blue. Another ranger one. This one says it's waterproof as well. I can't see if that one's covered or not. It's okay, but it's not wonderful. Okay, let's try a different colour. I like doing three. That way then you get one you do like, and two you do like normally, and one that you think, mm, no. <laughs> Let's try some of the brighter blue. So I've gone back to the teal blue on this one. Let's make it a bit more. <clears throat> no, I definitely think it's going to have to go that way. Let's try and get some more of the flowers in. Actually, let's go over the top of that one. Oh, I quite like that. Let's put a few of the brighter ones. Some in there. And maybe one in there. I haven't used any of the other ones. It's a little, just a little flower. I I just need to get some ink. 
Okay, here's one I haven't used in ages. Uh, dye ink. So, not waterproof, these ones. But if you're not, oops, if you're not putting anything else on them, they're fine. Move some stuff. Okay, let's see how this works. So, I'm thinking... one in there. Okay. And then one just to fill the gap. Oh, sorry about the fly. Oh, that's better. I pressed a bit hard and it's sort of gone a bit... But that works. Okay, we'll go with that. <clears throat> that one looks a bit of a mess. Let's just try another... Perhaps a little one at the bottom. Yeah, I quite like that. Right, I think we'll leave it at that because I'm just... Um, do you know what? I'm not going to... <laughs> Just when you thought it was safe. I am going to put another little bird on it. It's a different one to that one. So. Oh, I must have a bit underneath. It looks like I hadn't caught it properly. So let's have him sat about halfway up because the other one's at the top. And then this one can go amongst the mess at the bottom. Oh, that's better. That clears up some of that mess or takes away the, the emphasis. Oh, sorry about that. Let me just that. Okay. Glue gun on. Let's clear some of this away. Okay, I have a box of bits. I'm thinking butterflies, natural. So we have all my old scraps, so maybe a bit of that. This is actually um, chiffon ribbon that I've, I coloured, didn't like, and then thought I'd have a play around with the heat gun and that's actually worked quite nicely, it's sort of gone crinkled. Okay, maybe a bit of that. And then I have lots of coloured fabrics. Oh, that's a bit of cheesecloth that I've coloured. What else have we got? Maybe a, a lighter green colour. I don't know. We have some string we could use. Right, assuming we're going with those. So we have a blue, a brown, two blues. That's a bit too big. All I want to do is just add a bit of background. So I'm thinking the glue gun's probably going to go on. <sighs> Sorry about that. Something like that, and with that bright blue, perhaps we have a... Oh, that'd look quite good, yeah, I like that. Okay. And then we have that sort of colour. Right, so browns. 
Too big. <laughs> They're like John Lollipop sticks these things are, aren't they? Well, sort of goes with it actually. I'm not convinced, but it sort of goes with it. And that one's with blue again. I think that one looks a bit better. Right. <coughs> Let's get to work sort of putting them on. So if I just put a dab on there and then I can sort of scrunch it up. Oh, definitely should have pulled these ends. Ooh, yeah, I'm liking that. Let's pull some more through. Bear in mind that a lot of this is going to be covered up by the butterfly. Let's just quickly go around the edge. And then that can go on there. Hey, light up. This is nice and quick and easy. Right, same again. I'm just going to put a tap in the middle to put that on too. Looks like um, one of those doll peg dolls. That's the one I'm looking for. Actually, I think I might have a little bit too much on there. Put that one in. And then I can start just putting the rest in. So if we go like that and then like that. Hey, we have a rosette. I think it's got to be that one. I like that one. <clears throat> right, that's, ooh. There's not actually that much to stick it on with. <laughs> it's a giant lollipop. And this one, I think, can probably all be stuck down at the same time. Spill some bits out. I've forgotten to do this one. Let's have him going the other way. I have a tendency to ooh, I have a tendency to put everything going off towards the left. So let's make him the other way. Now I forgot to do them. I might even <clears throat> but 
let's just go around. I think perhaps I should have done this first. But up until 30 seconds ago, I wasn't actually going to do this. Let's make it look a little bit scruffy. Yeah, that looks so much better with the uh, dis distress ink on it. And the last one. Okay, let's give me a bit of paper so you can see them properly. I don't know, what would you call these? Page markers, perhaps in as a bookmark even? I don't know, they're a bit of fun. If I zoom in, you can see them properly. There we go. How about that? How easy is that? Right. Brilliant. You take care now and I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Bye.